Hi, I'm Paul Beckwith. I'll keep this brief. Um, but this is the site. I'm in Rolfton, Ontario, just about two and a half hours uh, northwest of Ottawa on Highway 17. The Ottawa River you can see in the uh, background there. And this is the site of the first nuclear reactor in Canada. They call it the NPD, Nuclear Power Demonstration. So the scientists at the National Research Council and you know other government labs, engineers, uh, built this reactor um, right on the uh, river to draw the cooling water from the river. And it was the predecessor for the uh, can-do reactors, which are, uh, you know, sort of Canada's uh, reactor system. It uses heavy water, so they, they take uh, the heavy water um, with, uh, you know, instead of H2O, it's HDO, where D is deuterium, or D2O, right? And they pure, the water's, the heavy water has a, has a high cross-section for neutrons, so when the when the uh, uranium cores are in the water the neutrons that trigger the chain reaction if they're flying too fast then nothing happens so they need to be slowed down or moderated by a so-called moderator that could be graphite or 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 heavy water and uh we can make heavy water very easily here it was a heavy water plant in norway that the germans had which really worried the allies so Commandos took that out, but so the deuterium, the D, D, HDO and, and D2O, it slows down the neutrons and allows a control chain reaction to occur, uh, producing uh, power. So this is where, where we look, Canada learned how to do this, and then the can-do reactors were built um, across the uh, country. So it's just a bit of piece of history here on my way back to Ottawa from my road trip, and I thought I'd. Uh, Fill you let you guys uh, uh, in on a uh, little bit of this. I didn't go to Elliott Lake on this trip because I went there last trip and it's a bit out of the way, but that's where the uranium mine is. It's known as uh, Nuclear uh, Uranium City. Okay, so, so anyway, it's been a long trip, almost uh, back home in Ottawa. Thank you for listening.